All right, so people will join on as they join on, but um, basically I'm gonna show you guys how to create flyers for your Sensi business. Like I said, um, I try and create my own, or use my own, and any chance that I can, just because it's, it's gonna help you stand out. Um, you know, from the ordinary consultant, there's lots of groups on Facebook that you can be a part of, like Make Sense Flyers or Sensational Flyers. Like there's tons of groups and stuff like that, but there are literally thousands upon thousands of consultants like using those flyers, so. I always like to do my own, um, you know, for those things. So I use um, two programs um, to make my flyers, and I don't really have a particular format. Let me share my screen. Um, the, ver the things that I use, they're free versions, and then they also have um, paid versions. Excuse me, so this is my screen, hang on. Oops, I put that in the way now. All right, so what I use <coughs> for my flyers, excuse me, I'm sorry, like I have no voice right now. Um, I use a program called Pick Monkey. It's my favorite one. Um, it's picmonkey.com. And um, this is the one that I use the most. There's also another one called Canva, which I'll show you in a second, but mostly for the most part, I use PicMonkey. <coughs> um, like I said, this is a, they, they have a free version, or if you upgrade, I wanna say it's like five or $10 a month. I'm not sure, it's not that expensive, but if you're using it a lot, it might be worth you know the investment. So up here, when you first come to it, this is what your screen's gonna look like. You have the option to edit, uh, you could t basically edit, you know, a pic from your computer right away, um, you know, from wherever you could pull them from Facebook, your Dropbox account, or if you go to design up here, you can create your own. They have templates you can use, or you can create like a blank canvas. Typically, I'll do a blank canvas. So, let's say blank canvas. Let's say I want to do like, um, like something like this in our in our party, like something like this. Okay, so this, a good picture, like what I like to use is um, that on an event, but also on the new party page, um, <clears throat> which looks like this, like this is a, a party that I'm doing for my hostess tomorrow night. So here, this is the spot where I was telling you guys yesterday, <clears throat> where you can upload a video and have your video be, be you know, playing or whatever, which I eventually, I think I'm going to be doing that, but until I can put on makeup and make myself look presentable on my website, I just deal with the thing for now. But what I like about this is you can link your Facebook event right here. So when they click it, it's going to take them right to her party, which I like. So I actually created a little spot on here for them to click so that they know click here to join the party and that'll take them right to the event in case the hostess shares this around, you know? Um, so what I did, if I go into pick monkey, you can create whatever type of, um, you know, size that you want. They have all different sizes here. So for like an Instagram post, a Facebook cover, I like to do these a lot. Um, Facebook covers, if I want to create something on my personal page or something like that, I think they also have like, um, a Facebook, like an image post, like I forget exactly what size, but you can really do whatever you want. So I'm gonna go with, um, I'm just gonna actually go with the regular Facebook post for now. I'm just, just to show you the guys, I, you know, to show you the idea. So now you have a blank image and you have all these things on the side here and it looks really confusing, but once you start playing around with it, <coughs> you can basically do whatever. Um, so for something like that, where I want my face on the picture, what I would do is, this is the background you're working on. So you can either change the color of the background, you can create a, a transparent by clicking transparent, and it'll make it like this. So anything you put on here will have a blank background. Um, or you can add another picture on top of it, which is called an overlay. So, and you could add as many overlays as you want. So right here, this little butterfly icon, you click overlay. They give you like a bunch of different overlays that you can use. Like, you know, if I wanted to add a heart on there, like that, you know, you can do whatever. Um, 
literally like a bunch of different things for you to use as far as overlays, or you can add your own. So I like to do that, add your own. And then um, I'm pulling from, there was a picture that I had, hang on. Oh, this one, open. Let's say I wanted to add this on my flyer, okay? Now it looks really crazy right now, but maybe I don't want all of like the nonsense going on around it. I just basically want like the diffuser and my face, whatever. <coughs> Even though that's pretty much what the picture is. Um, so over here, every time you click a picture, you're gonna get this little overlay box here because this is this is where you could edit your overlay or picture, whatever. So if you, you're right now on the basic tab where you can change the color of it, you know, you see, or whatever. You can do different blends, you can flip it around. You're gonna do it upside down. Uh, I'm just kind of giving you an idea. Um, but if you do eraser on the eraser tab, now you can erase certain parts of your images. So you can change the size of your eraser like this, and then here changes the hardness of it. So if you want it to be a little bit more blurry around edges to make it look a little smoother, um, I would make it like a little more blurry, and then you can see it gets really hard toward you know as you move it up. So I would probably do something like this. <coughs> um, something like along the lines where I'm just, you know, mapping it out or something like that. I don't know. Like I literally don't even make it perfect. But you could see like the blurriness will kind of blur it, um, you know, that way. And then over here I can do something like that. where like if I make it a little more blurry, it kind of blends it a little easier. It's not such a harsh line. So you just click and drag and your mouse will uh, take care of that. They have an app too on, on your phone. I've tried using it, but it's not, um, it's not as like, what am I doing now? Now I'm like, come on, what did I just do? I'll go back. Um, yeah, oh, down here. So you could do control Z to, um, you could do control Z to delete or you can do the undo button. I just wanna fix that a little bit. So you get the gist, like something like that, right? And then over here, move this down. I mean, you could get really fancy with like a much smaller picture and move the background on it, but this is just an idea. This is kind of what I want it to look like. So. Now I go back to basic, you could change the size of this. Like I could say, I could put something here, like on my pictures, see like this is an awkward picture to do it with because when I click it, look, there's a line right there. But if you had like a picture of your whole face where it shows your whole head, you know, you can do that. Um, where I've done that before, like, let me see. I don't know, like, Oh, and look, see, there's one of the posts that we scheduled yesterday that just came up. Like something like that. You see how my head is like full size there or whatever. Like that kind of, that's the same thing that I did there, the same concept. I just literally erased everything else about my head. So I sort of was trying to do that with this picture, but then I just realized my whole head is cut off. So anyway, let's just say I wanted to keep that like that, right? Um, and then I wanted to start adding other things like... Um, I took some screenshots or whatever before. Some oils, let's say I wanna add on to here. So now I'm on a different overlay because this, this picture is over the other one. So if I was to erase parts of this picture, it would, it would erase and show everything underneath it. You get what I'm saying? So um, you can overlay them or then you can right click and you can do like send to back so that this one is on top. Like you can kind of just mess around with it. Um, I want to bring this to front though. <coughs> and let's say I want to erase some of like this stuff over here that I don't really need. Like this. And this. And you guys, like I literally do this on my downtime. I don't really waste all day doing things like this. Um, because it is time. Why does that keep doing that every time I hit that? Um, it does get time consuming, but like at night sometimes, I mean, it's kind of therapeutic for me to just sit here and um, like mess with pictures and stuff. 
you could do it however you want, but like, let's say I don't want all this here. So you see how this picture has white here? Like it's not transparent. So you would have to literally either go around it if you were putting something over it or um, when you save it, you could always save it in Word first as like um, a PNG file, which will make it transparent, but that's totally irrelevant. So <coughs> let's just say I wanted it like that and then change up the size, move it over. Oops, I would have to erase this. I can just mess with it a little bit. Oops, what did I do? You get what I'm saying, right? Like, I'm literally not, like, this, I probably wouldn't even use this as a regular flyer of mine, but you get, like, the idea. I'm just trying to go back, go back. Okay. Something like that. And then what I also like to do is pull from my workstation. Hang on, I think somebody here, I'm going to unmute, I mean, mute somebody. Oh, everyone is muted. That's weird. Oh, no, it's Janine. <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay. So what I like to do is go to my workstation. Um, your marketing tab, that's pretty much what your marketing tab is for. Images that you can use, that we're allowed to use, that you don't have to worry if they're compliant or not. Like, everything that's on the marketing tab, you know is good to use. So I might go to the marketing tab and then pull up um, something over here on the left, like catalogs, whatever, because I want to pull images from our catalog. So let's just go with the fall and winter, because I know that one, right? So now that I have my catalog, um, you can literally take anything you want, but I might just, I'm working on like something with diffusers. So let me see what we got but you can literally take anything you want from here. So where are the diffusers? So oh, they're in the back. There we go. <coughs> um, so for me, I don't know about you guys, but I use a Mac. It, uh, um, if you do control shift four, you can do like a screenshot. Um, if you don't have a Mac, I'm sure you can do a print screen or something like that on your computer, on your PC or Google, however. Um, that works, but I'm going to do <clears throat> um, shift command four. It's going to take a, it's going to get this little bullseye ready. And I'm going to take this because I want this in my picture. So now it's a screenshot. And then I also want, I want them individual. So You can see how it gets kind of tedious. <coughs> then I will go back into Pick Monkey. Oops, sorry. Um, and now you can just add your overlays right then and there. And these are pulling right from the screenshots I just took. So I want one. I want two. And then three. Um, and here you can kind of just play around with them, like however you want. Or what you can do, so you see how this here, if I move it over another picture, it's white, right? What I also like to do is, um, let's say I want to take this one again. Oh, you know what? I already did it in Word. So I'll open Word, and I'll do Insert. I don't know how to do this on a PC. I only just recently discovered this on a Mac, but um, there has to be an, a, an option in Word because it, it's Microsoft Word. So there has to be an option to remove the background somehow. But what I'll do is I'll take it in the picture, um, whichever one I just did, let's say it's this one, <coughs> insert, and then I'll just click this button up here, remove background. And so basically anything that's purple is gonna be, um, is going to be not there. So um, normally, like sometimes if this is still highlighted, see, it'll be like that. 
like sometimes it, uh, it whatever's still highlighted, if you just click it and make it purple, it'll disappear. So if you have things in your image, like on this one, if I didn't want anything in that background, and I did that same thing here, I would just make all of that purple so the purple background didn't show. Um, and then I do move background, and now it's sort of, whoops, let me move this. Now it's like an image with, there's nothing on it, right? So now I do control, save as picture, and it's automatically saved as a PNG file right here, or you could change however you want it, but I want it as a PNG because that's gonna be a removable background. Um, <coughs> Repose. Okay, and now it's sort of the same concept, except I just made it PNG file. That was the only thing. So you can literally do it however you want to do it, but. Um, all right, so now if I add the overlay. Oh, come on, go back to my temporary pics. There we go. I like have a whole folder on temporary pics that I just never use. Um, so now you can see there's no background. So I don't have to worry, like this is easier because I don't have to worry about like now going in here and clicking the eraser and zooming in and getting it just right around the bottom of it. Like that's why sometimes doing it that way, <coughs> excuse me, it's a lot easier. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm just taking these and literally just putting them anywhere. Um, however you want to do it. Because that one already had a white background, you know, it's kind of, I mean, this looks like a terrible flyer, but you get what I'm saying. Like, you just playing around with the, um, you know, like for this one, I'll do the eraser again. Just playing around with the different images that you come up with and seeing how you want to you know, set it out. Um, you know, maybe I don't want my picture in this one. I think I'm gonna just take my picture completely out. So let's say I'm gonna make this flyer look much prettier. I'm gonna move this here. I'm gonna move that doll. Okay, so you see how that's overlapping. Now I can just erase. Oops, now I did it on the wrong one. Clearly, I'm not a professional, guys, FYI. <laughs> like, honestly, all of this that I learned, I learned by YouTube videos. YouTube videos and Google, I just basically teach myself because I'm not a whiz and I don't have anybody else to teach me, so I just literally figure shit out. <laughs> Sorry for my language, but that's what I do. <laughs> I just have to. <coughs> um, let's see you know, like something like this. And then now, let's say this is what I want my thing to look like. You can add text to, okay? So that's, the, that's a whole, you know, review or whatever on overlays. That's how I would work the overlays, which are pretty simple. But then you can, you can go in and start adding text. There's lots of different texts you can use. I love this one. One of my favorite texts to use is the mission script, which I'll show you. So um, you can say something like, Sensing diffusers. Um, also, if you are creating flyers, FYI, there are compliance things that go along with it. Like it has to have a Sensi logo on it, like an approved Sensi logo, which you can find on your workstation, or it has to say independent Sensi consultant on it. Um, and then the logos can't be like tilted or twisted in any way. They, they can't be changed color. Like there's a few different things. If you're unsure exactly, you can look in your Sensi standards and it'll explain all of that. Um, so I, you know, you could choose the different um, text that you have on the side. So I will do, I usually like mission script. And you, what's cool about this is that you can, if you click this little bar here, it creates like a, like a dropper and you can make your text whatever color, you know, that you set it to. So let's say I want to make it that. Um, you can change the sizing over here. You know, you can literally just do whatever you want. I mean, I'm just playing around right now. Um, if you want to get fancy, you can duplicate it and then make this like black so that it's highlighted. And then let me put it to the back. <coughs> Send it all the way back so that the green is on top 
and kind of mess around with it, like make it look like shadowed or something like that. However you want to do it with your flyers. But I usually would just like play around. You really just, until you start like messing around with it, you're not, you know, it takes time for you to realize like how to do all that. Um, oh, let's not do that. So Sensi diffusers. You know, just kind of messing around with whatever and pulling whatever, however you want. So um, I use Pick Monkey. So like I said, there's checks that you can do. There's also um, little like touch-ups that you can do, blemish fixes if you have a face on there, wrinkle remover, <coughs> teeth whitener. It's, it's like a Photoshop. Like I don't, I don't really ever use that, those features, but um, mostly I do the overlays and then the text, and then like I'll crop the image, I might change the canvas color. Um, let's see, what else can we put on here? So for something like, okay, so this is a regular flyer, but for something like that, um, here, okay, so you know what, let's do this. This is one image, so now you can either, you can save it, you know, right to your computer, or you can even save it to Dropbox. Dropbox is good because um, you could take that with you on the go. It's like an external hard drive, pretty much. <laughs> well, not an external. It's like more like a cloud hard drive or a cloud where you would just store and you can access it from anywhere and your pictures will be there. Um, but my computer does it anyway, so I'm not going to do that. Whatever. I'm just going to um, just save it however. Save it however you want. On PicMonkey, they do not... It's not saved on your like that on your PicMonkey account. It's not like you could go back on PicMonkey and see all the work that you've done. Everything will save to your computer or to where you <coughs> want it to save. Canva, which I'll show you in a second, does save your work. Um, so here, all right. So we're done with that one, right? Now let's say I just want to edit a regular picture. Instead of going to design a blank canvas, I'm going to edit a picture. So I'm going to edit from my computer. And I guess I'll pull from this, right? Let's say I want to make this the image where I say, join the party. Um, here, you could just do overlay again. Add your own. And now I actually have that one saved. Oh, wait. This, okay. Um, this is a transparent logo that I just Googled. Like you can literally Google anything you want. So I just Googled Facebook Live icon, transparent background, and I found something that I liked. Open, and here, you know, I could just like stick it right on here. I like to show, I like to do this. If I don't upload a video on my party page, I like to do something like this to show them that at least there's gonna be a live event for them to see. So I might do something like that. Then you can also add, um, you know, another overlay, you could do shapes. So let's see, like geometric shape, just a shape or whatever you can add. So I might do something like that. Um, let's see. And make it like white and you could change the color up here. Make it white. This I want. on top <coughs> and just play around with it. Then I can add text, like join the live event. One, two, eight. One, two, eight at, I don't know, 9 p.m. Do something like that, and then over here, I keep moving you guys. Let me put you down here. Um, with this, you can center the text. Obviously, like I just showed, you could change the different type of text that you want. I like probably will do something like that. Um, and you can change the color. So here, if I change the color, I might just make it match, you know, whatever, by using that little eyedropper. And then maybe I'll just make that red to match that, um, and then like this be red, match that. 
just so that like it looks cute and stands out. And that way, when this is here, um, you know, I can just now save it. And that was really fast. I did that in like two minutes. So now that I can save and then literally on my party page, just go ahead and upload that to the party page for them to see. So that at least it's my face. They know right away, you know, who I am, what I look like, or whatever. That's just some little things that I do with PicMonkey. There's tons of ideas, tutorials, and stuff all over YouTube. So if you're unsure, if you want more ideas, honestly, like I said, I'm not an expert on this. Like I, I literally just know what I know and what I've Googled so far and what I've YouTube so far. So definitely, if you want to get a little more in depth with it, by all means, go for it and see what you can come up with. Um, if that's really going to be the best way. Next is um, Canva that I really like. So it's C-A-N-V-A dot com. This one is pretty similar. Um, this one has a whole bunch of um, like templates you can choose. And they also have a free and, and there are items that you can pay for individually or have a, an account that you could pay for. Um, so these are just some things that I've worked on myself. Like my own um, like flyers that I've created or whatever. Um, so here, like these, you could do a fake Facebook post, you could do a social media post. Um, I do like a customer newsletter, so I'll do, um, like they have an email header. You can, it's just different. Oh, here, see Facebook event cover. That's probably a good one to choose from. Like they're the perfect dimensions so that things aren't distorted when you're creating these pictures. You want like the proper dimensions. Sometimes when you go and create it and then you upload it on Facebook, it's like all nasty looking. <laughs> so they're just to give you an idea on um, some of the flyers, whatever. But it's basically the same gist on um, how to use it. Although I will find, I, I haven't found out how to erase the background yet, like in PicMonkey. And I also, they don't have the mission script um, font that I love in PicMonkey. So I usually tend to do that. But this one's kind of cool because they have like these free, um, like little templates or whatever that you can kind of choose from and you can make them your own. Like you can type whatever in here. So you can do things like that or you can just like start fresh on your own. Um, how do I go out of here? I don't want to do that. Come on. See, I don't really use um, Canva as much as I do PicMonkey. <coughs> you know, for something like here, I would do a background or elements. See, this one's a little different. So you can add shapes to it, almost like an overlay, same thing. And there are free ones that you can use, or there are like paid ones that you can pull from. But I always use the free stuff. Um, and then, but what I do like about Canva is that it's sent it like, it, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like you see the lines that come up, like it kind of tells you when it's in the center and stuff um, with whatever it is that you're working with so that, you know, PicMonkey doesn't do that. That's one downside. Um, but up, and then up here is where you would change the color. You can change it to whatever. <coughs> um, let's see. No. Okay, so like here, then I would probably do another shape. I don't know, like I just mess around with it and so till I have like a frame or something, like however you wanna do it. <coughs> I was trying to get it so that it flips the color. Oh, I know what happened, you guys, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Okay, background, I'll pick a color, purple. Now I can go into the elements and add like a white box. Um, and it sort of creates like a little frame, you see that? Um, you know, if you want to create a frame, like that's how I would put a frame around it. Um, you know, you can go in and add text. Let's see. I, oops. Why it's doing that. Um, 
this is mostly what I do. Like I said, I'm not like super, like I feel like you don't need to be that like crazy with it. Um, so here up here is where you would change the font. <coughs> they have all different styles that you can do. Um, it doesn't matter really, however you wanna do it. Um, and then see if there's something else I can grab. See how I can show you if I, how I remove the background <coughs> on something. Oh, okay, so we could try, let's try this, Command Shift 4. That's that, now I wanna go back into Word. So here, if I do the remove background, <coughs> anywhere it's purple, like I said, is going to be removed. So I don't want that. So I just want to like drag this up a little bit to cover it. Um, just like so. But then some things here are still colored purple, so I don't want that. So I might just click and drag and it opens it up, you see. Um, wherever I don't want purple, you could just click and drag or just click in one spot and it'll open it up. Um, here. Oops, what just happened? Oh, I think because I have to have this here. Um, and then down there. <coughs> just like that. And now there's no, you know, it's all taken away. So here, and now we do control save picture, and it's gonna save it as a PNG. User to, and now if I go back into Canva, um, where am I, here I am. Well, what's that? Um, if you go to uploads, you can either just go from your desktop and drag it right into this section right here, or you could do upload your own images. Um, it was here. There it is. So this little, once this little water thing is there, um, you'll be able to use it. Um, and you can see I already have some diffusers in here that I was like messing with before. A picture of the diffusers. Come on, go, go, go. <coughs> there we go. So just bring it in there and then you can just mess with the size. So maybe I won't call it my Sensi Flyer, I'll call it like Kids Diffusers. And like, oh. I don't know, I mean you can mess with the size, like however, obviously that's not cute. <laughs> but um, you get what I'm saying. And if I wanted to bring in the oils, I can do something like that. And then tilt it a little bit. Like you just kind of mess with it to make it look however you want. I'm really not liking that. There we go. You know, you could do something like that and then, you know, make sure you have the Sensi logo. If you want, I'll show you guys how to put the logo on there. <laughs> so on your workstation, um, if you go to business references um, and you just search logo, you have all these logos here. I like to do the star trio. That tends to be my favorite one. It's the one with the three stars on top. Search and it's this. Then you open it. This one's going to take a second because it's actually a zip file that's going to have all of them in it. Um, I've already saved these to my computer so that I have them like ready to go, but you can always pull them right to your workstation. And then you just open it up and then they're like all right here. So, um, like I said, I would use that one. So going back into that, why do I keep doing that, sorry. 
I need to close out all these windows. There we go. Um, I'll pull from there and I'll do that. So it's a PNG. There's no background on it. Um, see that? So that this one, you know, it's the proper file, it's the proper logo, you know, because you can Google the logos, but you want to make sure you have the, the correct one. Um, you, we also have the one with the hexagon around it. That's really cute for Sensi logos, but you can do, you know, wherever you want to put it. Um, you know, wherever. Or if you didn't put the logo, you'd have to put um, independent Sensi consultant. So you could also do that. Um, like I would put my name. Um, independent Sensi consultant, come on. You could change up here, you could change like the paragraph where you want it. Um, and I might do it like a little smaller. You know, something like that. Um, to create a watermark, if you want, I can show you that really quick. So these are just things that I do with Canva. Like I said, I kind of use both of them. Like I don't really have any particular one that I that I use over the other, but um, like this this image right here, like I don't like it just because of all this. Um, so I, I would probably mess with that first more in PicMonkey and erase it, or just create the whole flyer in PicMonkey itself, but you, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, if you wanted to do, let's see, do I even have it in here? Oh, I do. Okay, so let's go back. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't want that. Okay, let's say I wanted to do one of these. This is now I consider my watermark. So this I would actually put over my pictures that have my face and the things that I'm trying to make sure I'm standing out to so that it has my watermark on it and that it can't be replicated or duplicated. Um, <coughs> you can do this in PicMonkey or wherever. I would probably do it in PicMonkey. So I go to PicMonkey. I don't need to say that. Design a blank canvas. I'll say a Facebook post. It doesn't matter. Um, and then here, remember what I showed you guys, transparent cam canvas. If you click that, it's going to make it PNG file. It's going to make it that, um, a canvas like that. So apply canvas, yes. Then I'm, I'm going to do it text. So here I want to add text. And now I'm going to put my name. Independent director. <coughs> um, you can literally do this however you want. Like you don't have to do it across the screen like this, like me. You could do it all in one. Like you could do a logo. You can literally do it however you want. I'm just using this as an example. Let's say I wanted this giant thing to be like my watermark for my pictures. Um, there's that. So that is what I would do and then I would save it, okay? What are you doing? What's going on here? Why can't I save it? It's like telling me something over here, hang on. Come on, like, why isn't it letting me see? This is ridiculous. Hmm. What if I combine them all? It's not letting me save it. Why is it doing this? <laughs> Go figure. Oh, if you want to combine them all, you just do down here. This little layers palette and then down here to combine it. Combining it would be good if you want to like draw on it or erase certain parts of it after you've already kind of put it all together. <coughs> um, 
I don't know why it's doing that, but I guess you could also fade it too, you know, so that it's already faded. Um, like that, but I don't know why it's not saving now. I wanted to show you something. It's annoying me. Wait, you didn't save it. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to save it. I don't know why it's doing this, you guys. Why my life? Oh my God. Anyway, so you would just save it, right? And then you would bring it here to your uploads, like um, where you would have it here. So let's just say that's the image I just created. <coughs> um, you can either put this over a new image, or I mean, you are gonna put this over a new image. And then up here, this little like, looks like a flag, like a race flag. You click that and then you can just change the transparency on it um, over each image that you put it on. So let's say I had like, I don't know, let's say this was the image I was creating, right? I created a flyer that looked like that for argument's sake. Then I wanted to put my watermark on it. I would upload my watermark that I just created, put it over just like that, then go up to this little flag and do like kind of like that <coughs> so that it still shows it but it also in case anybody tried to duplicate it like it would look like that i mean you don't have to do that i don't really honestly do it that much with my pictures unless it's something with my actual face on it like in my facebook parties i tend to do like you know cropped images with my face and stuff so that's pretty much the gist honestly that's really all that i know how to utilize with canva and pick monkey um, just some tips and stuff that I do to create my own my own flyers, but really just go ahead and get creative with it, and um, you know you'll be able to come up with something. And again, lots of ideas on YouTube and lots of ideas on Google, and you know basically just figuring things out like that. Like <coughs> if I I just got a new Mac like for Christmas, I've never owned a Mac, so I've had to like Google things like how do I take a screenshot on a Mac computer. You know, like I literally will Google how to take a screenshot on a Mac computer because if you don't do things like that, and I'm not saying you need to Google everything, <coughs> but like figure things out yourself, that's only going to help you in the long run become successful because it's going to make you a self-starter and, you know, be self-sufficient and finding out these things on your own. Of course, I'm here to help you. Of course, our team's here to help you and stuff like that, but it really is beneficial for you to do as much re research as you can. I always say that my little guilty pleasure at night is laying down at night and going on Pinterest and like looking up like how to get organized in my direct sales business or, you know, how to create flyers on, on, you know, for my Facebook parties, like things like that. Um, and I will at night will like read those things like the blogs and stuff like I just like that sort of thing just as a little side note so I'm gonna stop sharing this screen <coughs> oh we only have a few more people on because I was talking so much um, okay so let's see <coughs> if there's any questions I'm sorry um, so being that the diffuser is in that you don't have to have Scentsy logo. Um, no, Crystal, what do you mean being that the diffuser is in? I'm gonna unmute you, what did you mean by that? No, I, I can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I just meant um, because on that flyer you didn't put a Scentsy logo. So I just- Oh, well that, yeah. was, that was just mainly because I was just showing you how I did. Right, like that after you did flyer. do it, Right. Um, after you did do it, now I understand. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I read the comments like afterwards. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's just, that was just me for the sake of showing you, but yeah, every flyer that you, that you do use should have the Sensi logo and you know, don't feel like you need to create your own flyers. Of course, there are plenty of groups out there, you know, for you to use flyers and take them from and stuff like that. That's why they're created. But like I said, it is good to do those things on your own because you are going to be standing out and creating your own things. Um, I always say to focus on obviously your income producing activities, booking parties, sponsoring, you know, follow up, all that stuff. So things like this, I typically would do like now at this time of night, like after I got the kids down, it's kind of more quiet. I could focus. Like it's not really, cause it does get time consuming, but it is fun to do. And it, it, it is beneficial to your business as well. So you just do it in the way that works for you. Of course, you know, 
But um, does anybody else have any questions? I know it's just basically you and Amber on. <laughs> no? Okay, awesome. All right, so I'll let you girls go. Thank you so much for sticking out with me. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert in this, but I just, everything that I've learned, I just kind of learned on my own. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll definitely try and help you with whatever it is that you need, all right? I'll talk to you later. Bye.